Hi everyone, it's Jerry Negrelli. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of how to record a jingle for TKJingles.com or the Tony Kornheiser radio show. So first of all, this tutorial is meant for those that can sing. So if you have some vocal talent and really want to learn how to do one of these things, this is meant for you. Um, if you want to just write a song, if you've got some ideas and you want to put them up there, we've got a great place to do that at the ideas page. Follow the link here or go to TKJingles.com and click the ideas link. Uh, but if you want to sing, we're going to walk you through some simple ways to do it using your computer and a few simple tools and software. So first of all, you need a computer, either a PC or a Mac. You're going to need some type of microphone. Many laptops will have one built in already. I use a Samsung mic, and it actually came with some nice software that was free. You're going to need headphones so you can listen back to the vocal uh, tracks, the audio accompaniment, the musical tracks if you have a karaoke track, or your harmonies if you want to try to add multiple tracks and multiple layers to your recording. And to record this, we're going to use something today called Audacity, which is a tool that's free. And I chose it for this tutorial because it's available for both the PC and the Mac. I use Cakewalk when I use a PC, and I use GarageBand on a Mac. Uh, those are both great tools. Audacity is a very straightforward, simple tool. And first and foremost, it's free. So it's something that if you don't want to invest a lot in this project because you're just screwing around and you're not getting paid for this, so why spend a lot of money? Uh, Audacity is probably a great place to start. And other things you might need, I mentioned uh, musical accompaniment. You can play your own instruments, obviously. I do that quite often. But when there are some songs that are very complicated, that have a lot of instrumentation, such as scenes from an Italian restaurant, that Billy Joel track, I'm not going to go and record a piano and saxophone and everything else. You can get uh, karaoke accompaniment tracks. So you can download these, these from Amazon. They're generally 89 cents a piece, pretty cheap. Or you can go to karaoke-version.com. Now, it's a little bit more expensive there, and they often sound a little bit cheesy. They have a bit of a MIDI sound to them. But uh, they also, at Karaoke Version, typically have three versions, one with vocals, one with no lead vocal, and one with no vocals at all. Uh, that means you can do your own background vocals, which is really important if you're doing something like California Dreaming, which has a really obnoxious refrain in the background. You can cut that out entirely and record your own. And that's it. That's the basics. So now I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial of how to start recording your own jingles. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to tkjingles.com, and I'm going to look for an idea of a jingle to record. So we've got some good ones here, and uh, I think I'm going to do a Billy Joel song, because I like Billy Joel. So we click on this and review the lyrics, and this sounds great. Now we'll go over to Amazon and look to see if we can find an accompaniment track. So... Billy Joel, karaoke, mp3, Billy the Kid, go. All right, we got three different options here. If you click this, it lets you give a little preview view. You can listen to each one and make sure that it's what you want. All right, that one sounds good. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this, and then we're going to move over into Audacity, and I'll show you how to integrate it with your recording. Okay, so now comes the fun part. Now we have a karaoke mp3 track. We get a song picked out. We've got some good lyrics. So we're going to go into Audacity. We're going to go to the uh, File menu. We're going to choose Import Audio. And we'll pick the karaoke track that we chose. That's going to bring in a stereo track here. And um, the Ballad of the Kid has about a minute of musical introduction. And a lot of the songs have that. So they're never going to play that on the radio. And it's kind of annoying to listen to at tkjingles.com. So... Uh, you'll notice that it's broken down here by little segments, so we can go here, and why don't we just select, say, the first mm, 50 seconds or so, hit the lead on the keyboard, then we'll select these little five seconds leading up to the beginning, and we will say effect, fade in. So now it'll start, let's just here preview how that sounds. Yeah, that's good. So that's going to give a nice little lead-in to our recording. And now why don't we just go ahead and uh, record a vocal demo using the lyrics that we have. So I'll just go ahead and hit record. To a Hobeth beach from Long Island Came a man with a flip phone in his hand Was he daring, was he bold Or was he really skewing old In the capital of our land Okay, so that's good enough. So why don't we go back? It's 
using the default uh, built-in microphone, you can change what you use up here. So it's not going to sound all that great, but we should be able to get a sense of basically how this jingle is going to sound. To Rehoboth Beach from Long Island Came a man with a flip phone in his hand Was he daring? Was he bold? Or was he really skewing old in the capital of our land? Okay, so that's good enough for demo purposes. Uh, one thing to note, just for some general recording guidance, you'll see that there's uh, areas where this is peaking. So using a system microphone built into a laptop, that's going to happen sometimes. It doesn't have a lot of fidelity. It doesn't uh, detect highs and lows very well. But when that happens, you'll notice a bit of a buzz in the sound. It kind of flat lines. It typically happens if you sing loudly, if you're yelling or something like that. So you really want to avoid that. So you can turn down the, uh, the input volume. Typically is a good way to combat that. And... Um, you know, it's, it's a shame when that happens because it really distorts the audio quality. Otherwise, uh, you know, typically if, if I, that was all I was singing for this jingle, I would then select the track the same way we did a fade in, and I would delete some bunch of extraneous parts at the end and do a fade out effect on there. Um, using something like GarageBand, you can add a bunch of different vocal filters and effect filters to try to change the sound. Um, you see there's little blemishes here. You would probably want to go in and clean this up by selecting that and... Uh, you know, doing an effect on it to mute it all or cutting it so that there would be a gap there. I'm not that familiar with Audacity, but um, as you can see, having used it for just the first time while I was recording this demo, I've already got something that is nearly uh, you know, ready to be submitted, just uh, pending a few more takes. Uh, one thing that I typically will do is rather than having one master take and trying to get it right for a minute and a half, trying to do all those lyrics, I'll maybe do three or four takes and then Go back and listen to them, and where I find pieces that I like, I'll keep those, and where there's ones that I don't, I'll delete them. Uh, and it's a great way to just get a master take as long as you do it all in one sitting so that your mouth is the same distance from the microphone, you have the same ambient noise in the room, you're in the same voice, maybe you had a cold that day. You want it to sound the same. So I, tend to, I generally do it all at once over a 20-minute uh, period, but it really helps keep a good consistency. And that's really about it. Uh, this is a good just primer on, on how to do jingles, and I hope it helped you. And I highly uh, encourage you to go to the ideas page, download some, or look at some of those ideas, write your own. Love to hear from you. I really appreciate uh, all the support everybody's been giving to me, the website, and having a lot of fun doing this. So if you have any questions or want to see a demo or behind the scenes of something else that I've been doing, um, you can... Uh, Send me a tweet at Jerry Negrelli. You can send me an email, jerry at negrelli.org, or you can go to tkjingles.com and click the Contact the Webmaster link. So um, that's it, folks. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope you learned something today. Bye-bye.